watch Administrate TV. Honorable Justice Amwa. <laughs> Abishava. You na wife yen in Ketri and I in Cabrofo. Ah, okay. And a death and a brofo. Na eno na wo ne neka. Eh, uh, death meti be two three four. Ba utu mi ne neka sa. And say mi yo mum. Me me ti aseba me ti me ti aseba utu mi ne ne bon komo che like. That be say komo di yebo yebo. Oh, okay. Mo sa sa mo ye science in kwa. O ba sa mo nka sa mo ye science in kwa. Mrs. Patapa, welcome to KFM. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening. You're so beautiful. Thank you. Gorgeous. And yeah. congratulations. Thank you. All right. Now, before you even came to Ghana, you were trending on social media when your now husband visited you in Germany or in Europe. And we saw pictures and videos when you were in the kitchen and, you know, <laughs> uh, he tapped you, blowing kisses here and there. You know, we thought it was fake. But to our surprise, it's the reality now. Yeah. Can you tell us the journey, how you met him and uh, what it took to get him to put the ring on your finger? Um, it all started when he had his show in Belgium. I have uh, friends in Belgium and also in Germany who are um, organizing shows and mostly with uh, musicians. And uh, there's a friend in Belgium who invited Patapa to come and perform. So, and I really like the One Corner song. Maybe you have seen it also on my wedding day, how I was dead. <laughs> it's one of my favorite songs. So I said, no, if Patapa is coming to Belgium, I really have to see him. I went for the show. And after the show, I went backstage to take a picture with him. But we didn't even talk much because... I asked for the picture, I think he have not even answered me or he just shake his head and I was thinking, okay, maybe he doesn't know how to speak English. So later on, when we left the, uh, the backstage, one of his guys came to ask for my friend's number. I was with another white lady and she gave her number, but Patapa never called. <laughs> so one year later, another friend of mine from Germany, he's also a party organizer. He's, he asked me how the performance from Patapa was because I have been to Belgium and I have seen him performing and he really wants to book him. So, and his name is DJ Soa. So I said, he's very, very good. He should really book him that the stage performance is really fire. Then he said, I should send him the videos I made on that day. I sent him the videos for him to promote his uh, show. And Patapa saw my video on his status and said that he really liked me, he has seen me in Belgium and that I'm living in Belgium, he would really like to see me when he's coming to Germany. And my friend said, no, the girl is living in Germany, it's like my sister, I really know her. And he said when he's coming to Germany, he really wants to see me. So then DJ Soa was really pressuring me, not telling me that Patapa wants to see me, but he said, Leah, Patapa is coming, you have to come to the airport to pick him up with me and... Uh, at the hospital, I'm working 12 hours from morning to night and um, he arrived, I think, around 10 in the evening. And I said, no, I cannot make it because I have to wake up 4 in the morning. So I will try and come to the show. He said, no, you really have to come before the show. I said, OK. Then I was talking with my friend. I said, I really don't know why the DJ is like pressuring me to go to his place to see him. Why not knowing is Patapa giving my friend pressure? And... Um, yeah, then I went to my friend's place. Then I met Freebody, the manager of Patapa, Patapa himself, my friend, his brother, his wife, and the kids. I was so surprised. I was looking so messy that day. <laughs> and Patapa said, come and sit next to me. And I said, do you still remember me? I came to your show. He said, yes, it's because of me you are here. I was like, what? He said, yeah. Your friend didn't tell you, I said no. He said, I saw your video on his status and I was really happy because I have asked of your number and my friend came to ask for your friend's number. So that day in Belgium, he wanted to get my number, but the boy who came and asked for the number asked for my friend's number. So, yeah, after one year, we met each other again. And from that day, he have never <laughs> left me alone. <laughs> I think the time he was in Germany, we were almost every day together till he left for Ghana. 
And when he went to Ghana, he was really like, no, you have to come to Ghana. You have to see how I live. You have to see Africa. You have to see Ghana. You have to meet my family. You have to see the culture. I really love you. I want to marry you. But yeah, the first step was to meet his family. Before you marry someone, you have to know the family you are marrying yourself into. So that's why the first time I came to Ghana, I met his family and to see how the life is over here and the culture and everything. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Once again, congratulations. Let's uh, make clap for Leah and uh, Patapa. <laughs> so, professionally, what work do you do? Uh, I'm a nurse. You are a nurse? Yes. A practicing nurse? Yes. Are you still active working? Yes. Which hospital? Uh, I'm working in two, two different hospitals. One is close to my place is uh, is a uh, evangelische Krankenhaus, evangelic uh, hospital, and the other one is a private hospital. I'm working in two different. I have two jobs, one full time and one mini job. I'm normally really busy. <laughs> okay, great. Um, you talked about you love events, and that's why you travel from germany to belgium i know from germany mm. to belgium is not far no but it looks like you you are an entertainment person you love entertainment and even before patapa came to belgium you had been following him uh the thing is i love music and especially african music i really really lo i really have love for african music i love good music and i love african music and okay my yeah. friend okay. one two, my friends one, point like, seven my close friends, uh, they are event organizers, so that's why most of the times when they have events, they invite me and I also promote their events on my Instagram, on my Snapchat, on WhatsApp and everything. And I also have friends who do music, so they always talk with me to make the business work. <laughs> that, like there that. is a perception that most European ladies like African men, especially <laughs> West <question>. African men. <laughs> What is so exciting about West African men that most European ladies want to fall in love with African men? What was the word that you said in the interview? Uh, when was the wedding? No. Which one? The one you said at the wedding. Oh, I did Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> you know the What did you say? What did you say? Uh, now, you said, uh, question if he instrument and mobile and no one said the money. Oh, but how said it? Uh, let the never search and you say, Okay, I found it. 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 I I Ghana and Bible Blue, I want to make a seat into me into me. I don't know, look for Bruni. I wish I saw Ghana in Domino in Chino Wom. Sound Domino as I knew Wom. Sassona, I bought for Indomiso in Chino a day, a womb. Sassona, I don't say a day, a womb. It's a trivia. I say, it's a trivia. Never fear any vagina is vagina. Yes. So what uh, we are trying to say is that it does not matter the color, the skin color. We are all the same, okay. right? It's about if the spices. Spices. <laughs> yeah. I give him pepper. <laughs> <laughs> he even start to hear pepper. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like um it's not that I'm only into African men. For me it does not matter. Like Patapa is Christian, I'm a Muslim. He have a different You're a Muslim? Than, yes. Okay. So uh, we are way different normally. Yeah, we have a different culture. We have a different religion. We are from different countries. We s don't even speak the same language. Uh, he have his local language. Uh, me too. I'm originally from Turkey. I also have my local language. So like normally we are way different, but in some parts we are the same and we really fit together. And what is important is not the outlooking. All right. Now let me come back to you. Um, like you said, originally you're from Turkey and, and you, now you live in Germany. Mm -hmm. um, tell us about your family and your upbringing. Growing up, um, where did you start your life even before you settled in Germany? 
Uh, I was born in Turkey, but I came um, to Germany when I was two years old. So I grew up in Germany. I go to school there. I go to normal school like 10 years, which is um, common in Germany. After that, I study for six years, social, um, social assistance and after that nursing. And my parents and most of my family, they are in Germany, but I have also family in USA, in UK, did in you, Belgium. Did you grow up with your parents, both yes. parents, mom and dad, yes. and your siblings? Yes. How many siblings do you have? I have three brothers and one sister. Okay, so a family of five. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Now, in growing up, um, you said you like African music. Yes. Did you perchance had any experience with Africans before you fell in love with African music or African people? I don't get the question very well. Now, like, you said you love African music, yeah. African songs. Yeah. You like African songs, right? Yes. How did you get in love with African songs? Uh, actually, it started all when I was young. I never really listened to Turkish or German music. It was like always hip hop, R and B, soul, like black music. Yeah. Then it went over to dancehall music. <laughs> My taste has changed. And after that, I really like the um, African beats. Yeah. It's like uh, you can use it everywhere. If it's an event for marriage, you can use it. Even if it's for a club, you can use it. Like the beats are really nice. When you hear it, you can't just sit down. You really have to dance. I really like the beats. And yeah, so I have changed my taste from uh, black music like hip hop, R&B to dancehall and now to really African, African music. African yeah. music. Just that the problem is some of the songs, I don't understand it. You but, know, but, uh, unless but, if it's in English, then yeah, but you can still enjoy the beat and the rhythm, yes, exactly. Great, yeah. great. Now, let's come back to how you met Patapa from Belgium when he came to perform, and then Germany through DJ Soa, um, who saw the video on your status and invited him to come to Germany to perform, and how you met him. Now, today, all is history. Now, there's a new life. The new life is Patapa is your husband. Yes. Um, you've known each other for, let's say, a year or two, or let's say two years. Yeah. Right? If yes. I'm right. Yes. For almost two years. Yes. Um, how were you convinced that this is the man that I want to spend the rest of my life with? This uh, is a very good question because the first time that I came to Ghana, they, uh, they interviewed me at the airport and directly asked me, is the marriage coming on? Is the ma and I came for Ghana meets Naja that time and to meet um, Patabas family. And I was like, they are asking me <laughs> about the marriage and I don't even know his family. So um, to be sure that he's really the man for my future and for my life was like to meet his friends. I think friends like his Patupa soldiers to know the guys that he's uh, out like hanging around with then to meet his family how did he grow up how is his culture how is his religion I have to know the person a little bit you cannot know a person 100% but at least you have to know the person a little bit to know if you can go along with the person if the person also uh, fit with your own lifestyle with your own um, family and everything so it was also really important for me for him to meet my family so the last time when Patapa came to Germany the very last time he met my family um, the first time already and the, se uh, the last time he also like talked with my family about the marriage and everything and I took also advice from my family what they are saying how do they see them because I think it's really important for your parents to like the man that you are getting married to. So then after Patapa left back to Ghana, I have sat down with my family again for them to be free to tell me everything. If they are okay, how do they see him and everything. And later on, I also talked with his family and I just make my own picture about it. Even though there was many uh, negative things on social media, many people couldn't understand why I fell in love with Patapa or why he's in love with me. But I have just shot everything out and make my own a picture of the whole story to get to know the real justice amour, not only the musician Patapa. 
you know, to know how did he grow up, how is his lifestyle, what and he have also tell me a lot about himself, how he used to be when he was not patapa, like he was selling alcohol and all the stories that I didn't know. So yeah, it's make me even fall in love more with him to know the real Justice Amor, not just Patapa, the musician on stage and on interviews. Beautiful, beautiful. Now, tell me, um, before marrying Patapa, were you in relationship? <laughs> and w how many times have you fell in love and fell off and now fall in if love? If this is love, what I feel for Patapa, then I think I, have, I was never in love before. Oh, wow. <laughs> So there's the first time you're falling in love, true love. <laughs> I am in love not only 100%, I think it's like more than 200. If you <laughs> Do you have a child? No. You don't have a child? No. Not you yet. Don't have not if, yet. You don't have even an adopted child? No. Beautiful. Now, let me come to Patapam. Eja. Okay, Congratulations, Utinqua. I did win your bado. No, sir. Where are they? What I go, what I go, the man. Oh, no, sir. You see, I be say Muslim. I also Christian. Now, why were you not there? Um, I was a criminal too. Oh, that you say, I'm an animal now. Personal. Why are you Muslim now? But if you see, I'm not there. Me, yes, I'm not alone. Yes, because I'm buying. Oh, we're being open as much to change. The family say, "Papa saw what fancy new. That's not fancy new. Soon we pay your baby. That's all. And now we say new new movements now. They know how to swear. We to change the parents say, saw by we no be said they. They need to know. First, no we want more. Okay, FM. One zero one point seven. Uh, before about what Leah na nkrofu work cancer work cancer. Last time I met you, you couldn't come on. As nkrofu been put here, there was say watching. Leah. Yes. Um, the last time I had an interview with your husband, yes. um, he made an allegation that some people were trying to, you know, destroy him to you. And these are Ghanaians. Mm -hmm. But against all this, you have, you know, come out to marry him. Yes. What were some of the complaints that Ghanaians were telling you about him? You know, you cannot satisfy everyone, right? So uh, at the end of the day, I have to be happy. I have to be in love. But people were saying like, not only about him, about me too. I'm not having the perfect shape, but the is not handsome. Or I'm just with him because of the money. And uh, he's just using me. I shouldn't go for him. He's that an what he artist. told you? Yes. He's said an you don't artist. Have Everywhere he go, he will be with different, seven. different girls. Oh. And um, yes. Where did they get your number from? I really don't know. I think it's maybe one person who's spreading it, but I don't know who. Did you receive a call or it was um, a direct message in, on, into your mail? or? Uh, it was different, different people. Different not, uh, people? Yes. <laughs> they said you are, you are not, you, you don't have the shape. Even, uh, no, they said you don't have a shape. No, no, no. Uh, this uh, this was on social media. That, okay. That uh, the time that I think it was with the blue African dress that we uh, we went to take a picture in the studio. People was like, oh, her stomach, she looked pregnant, she looked fat, she's so ugly. Why would he go for a white girl? Look at Patapa. I think they are using the same wig. And I don't know, they were really like insulting him and me. And uh, many people were against it. And also for my friends before they even met him like not close friends but people that i know oh i have heard that you met patapa people okay, that i have not okay. talked one, for two, a very one, long time point, seven. started to call me are you with patapa leah you have to be careful you know Ghanaians are like this Ghanaians are like that and uh, he's a musician were they Ghanaians or yes they were Ghanaians. <laughs> yes who live in europe or in yes. ghana Oh, yes. Okay, so these were Ghanaians in Europe. Yes, mm. also Ghanaians, but also from other African countries. But this, what I'm telling you right now, is from a Ghanaian. So he said, me too, I'm a Ghanaian. I know how the life in Ghana is. If he goes back to Ghana, you will see what he will do. So when you go back to Ghana, you will find out this, you will find out that. Uh, they cannot stay with one woman. And I'm sure he does not really love you. And what do you love about him? He's short, he's this, he's that. Like a lot of bad stuff. A lot of bad stuff. Oh. And I have to say that um, I have lost a lot of friends because of this relationship. 
Yeah, because I I was not European friends or African friends. I don't have all European friends. Oh, so you've lost <laughs> African okay. friends? Mostly, yes. Because of Patapa. I uh, yes, I lost them. Like uh, I selected them for myself because I couldn't hear this negativity anymore. And uh, I talked with my mother about it.